Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup tutorial is inspired by Valentine's Day. I hope that you all enjoy this video. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and let's begin. I'm taking my MAC eyeshadow in KID and I'm going to be applying it as my transition color using my Sigma brush number E40 or you can use your MAC 224. This one seems to be a little fluffier and I can really use this for a transition color and blend everything out really nicely. Now when I apply this color, I like to follow the shape of my eyebrow because it'll help the eyeshadow look better, more uniform, just a lot nicer. And as you can see, I am extending it on the outer and inner corners just so that my eye appears longer and bigger. Um, so just build this up to the intensity that you want. Now I'm going in with my MAC Vanilla Eyeshadow and I will be applying this using my MAC 252 Large Shader Brush or you can use your Sigma E60. Um, and then I will just be using this to blend any harsh lines as well. Now I'm going in with my Urban Decay Vice 2 palette, the colors Rewind, and applying it right on my crease area, darken it up really nicely. This shadow doesn't blend out very good, but just build it up, even though I just took very little. Um, I'm going to go back in with my Sigma brush and blend it out, any harsh lines that I created, which I did. So just go back and blend. Easy peasy. Then I'm going in with my MAC Black Round uh, Paint Pod, and I will be applying it to the outer corner of my eye and blending it out. I like to take my time because I don't like to create any harsh lines um, and then just build the color. Then I'm taking my MAC white paint pot and then applying that to the inner part of the lid just about halfway. This will really brighten up the colors that we'll be applying here and then it'll create a really nice transition between the colors. Then I'm going in with this eyeshadow called Prank and I will be applying it to the outer one third and I'm just packing it on as you can see and I really extend it on the outer corner just so my eye appears longer. Then I'm going in with this color, it's called Madness, it's a beautiful blue color and applying it right on the center of the lid and blending right where they meet. I did wet my brush just a little bit with some MAC Fix Plus just to intensify that blue. Then I'm going with my MAC Pigment in Naked, which is one of my all-time favorites, and I'll be applying it to the inner one-third. I did wet it slightly with my MAC Fix Fluid, but it wasn't soaked. Then I'm going in and blending everything out with the Rewind Color right on the crease, and just intensify that to your liking. Then I'm going in with my MAC Glitter in Reflex Pink, which is one of my favorites as well. And I'll be applying it slightly wet right to the inner one-third, which will add that pink uh, color for a Valentine's Day inspiration. Same steps for my lower lash line. I'm applying my paint pot right underneath my eyes, just about halfway, and building it up. If you don't have a paint pot that's black, you can also use an eyeliner. Then I'm going in with my MAC 219 brush and applying my blue eyeshadow over that color, and I will be intensifying it quite a bit, just because I want a more dramatic look. Did you all notice my brown contact lenses? I put them on because I thought it would complement my blue eyeshadow a lot better. I can't remember where I got these from. I just recently found them in my makeup drawer. Then for my waterline, I'm applying my Urban Decay 24-7 liner in black. I will also apply some glitter to my lower inner one-third and I will build it up quite a bit because I really want that pink to pop. For my lips, I'm starting off with my MAC Lip Liner in the color Plum and lining my lips. For my lips, I'm using my favorite lipstick by MAC. It's called Blankety. I've at least gone through 8 of these lipsticks because they're amazing. They're the perfect nude color and they're also very moisturizing to the lips. So I love it. And this concludes our tutorial. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe and thumbs up. Share it if you can. I would really appreciate it. Thanks so much and I'll see y'all really soon with more tutorials.